I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Mark Cooksey, Managing Director of AVX Group. Mark, welcome back. Must be with you again, Shay. Another day goes by and another excellent update for the ABX Group. You have just had a successful batch trial for your Alcor project. Can you please explain what has happened here? Yeah, so we uh, previously done a lot of laboratory work and now we've moved on to what we call a, a pilot batch reactor, which involves using about 10 kilograms of material. And we've been running it uh, late last year and early this year, and we're now achieving very close to our targets on fluorine recovery. As you work towards achieving these targets, how many steps are involved? There's a whole lot of steps to going from uh, from lab to commercial. We're currently at the at the pilot scale with this batch reactor. We'd like to get to ideally more than 90% fluorine recovery. We're very close to that. And the next step will then be a continuous pilot plant. Obviously, the Alcor project is proving uh, up to be quite successful at this stage. Uh, what more news flow can we expect to see about this? Yeah, so over coming months, uh, number one will be about uh, further work using our current um, batch reactors, so doing a two-stage process to see if we get the fluorine yield up to our targets. And secondly, we're really hoping to commence the continuous pilot plant in earnest and the critical step there is in discussions with potential investors about where that plant will be located. Mark, you've just mentioned potential investors. Now, let's be honest, a first-time investor might be stumbling across this video today, and we're talking about waste recovery of fluorine. For everybody who has just joined the ABX group journey, what are you trying to achieve with your, sorry, achieve with your Alcor project? Yeah, fundamentally, there's two things. The first is the Feed material we're using is a waste material from aluminium smelters, which has currently really no other application. And we're trying to extract fluorine out of that, which is a valuable element, uh, in turn into valuable chemicals. That's one bit. And the second bit is uh, one of those chemicals is aluminium fluoride, which Australia needs a lot of for its aluminium smelters. And we current, re currently rely 100% on imports. And so we want to replace that those imports to give us more security of supply. Well, Mark, I have to say congratulations on the success of this trial uh, and I'm really looking forward to future updates. Great, thank you, Shay.